Hi there, this is Karo Nistor, and today we're going to talk about the Hashable protocol. First, I'm going to create a very simple structure. This structure has only one property of type string. Let's call it identifier. With our struct in place, we could create, for example, an array. I'm going to use the shorthand form for declaring the array of simple struct instances. And let's add a simple struct with the identifier ID. This code compiles just fine. We have no issues. Now let's try to do the same, but this time I'm going to declare a set. Unfortunately, there is no way to uh, use a shorthand form for a set because the compiler has no way to distinguish it from an array. Basically, I have to tell the compiler that it's a set of a given type. Here we go. Now, if I try to compile my code, I get a an error. The compiler says that our type doesn't conform to the hashable protocol. Alright, what does that mean? The set is a special kind of Swift collection type. Unlike arrays, a set cannot have duplicates. In order to check for duplicates, the set must be of a type that has a way to tell whether an instance is unique. Swift uses a hash value for this purpose. The hash value is a unique value of type int, which must be equal if two values are the same. In Swift, all basic built-in types are hashable. So we can use a string, a bool, an int, or a double in a set. Here we go. So if I declare my set just like this, set double, the compiler won't complain anymore since double provides a hash value. Now, in order to make our simple struct work with the set, we must make it conform to the hashable protocol. Luckily, this is not a big deal. I just add hashable conformance, and if we check the hashable protocol, it has a single property. It is a read-only gettable property called hash value. So this hash value must be unique. Since our simple struct has only one property of type string and string is a built-in type which already implements the hashable protocol, implementing the hash value property is quite straightforward. All right, let's try to compile our code now. We still have a problem. Let's double check what's going on here. All right. Our simple struct type must also conform to the equatable protocol. Why is that? Because hashable inherits from equatable protocol. And if a protocol inherits from another one, all conforming types must also implement the requirements defined in that protocol. So let's go back. Conforming to the equatable protocol is also not a big deal. We have to implement the equal to operator which is a static method that tells whether two instances of the given type are equal or not. We consider two simple struct instances to be equal if their identifiers are equal. Now our code should compile without errors. Indeed, the issue is gone. To summarize, there will be cases when we must adopt the hashable protocol. If you need to ensure that a given value is unique, like, for example, when creating a set out of our types or using them as keys for a dictionary, then we must adopt the hashable protocol. To conform to the hashable protocol, our type must implement a read-only property called hash value. Also, because hashable conforms to the equatable protocol, we must implement the equal to operator. Thanks for watching. If you are interested in Swift-related topics, please subscribe to my channel.